Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to episode 13 of the Neil Robertson Pro Career. Unlucky for some is 13. Let's see if it's unlucky for us or our opponent in round 2 of the Evergrande China Championship. Louis, or Liu, not Louis, Li, uh, Louis, oh my goodness. Uh, Liu, uh, High Ocean or Hyatan, I have heard is the variations of those names. We're going to go with Hyatan. Uh, again, hopefully that's about right and apologies if it isn't. But some of these Chinese players... A little bit tricky to pronounce. Now, I say unlucky for some because I have found out in just researching this tournament a little bit before the off that uh, Liu actually got to the semi-finals of this tournament last year and um, only was knocked out by John Higgins. I think it was 6-3 he was beaten in the semi-final. And funnily enough, our last opponent, Zhe Ezao Sing Tong, got to the semi-finals as well and he was beaten by the eventual tournament winner, Mark Selby. So, two tricky opponents to take on from the start. But again, prize money wise, we win 13,000 if we win this match. We've already earned 7,500 from this tournament. And as you can see, we've career earnings of this season of just over 31,000. 13,000 would really help us. And of course, it gives us a little bit of momentum going to the last 16 of this event. So without any further ado, let's get into this match against Liu Hoyutan. So this be the tournament with qualifiers, of course, means that it's only 64 of the 128 pros that gets to this stage of the tournament and of course half of those have now gone from round one so there's 32 remaining that means it's pretty much with how snooker 19 is coded the players at the highest caliber left in this tournament so no scalps really every game from this point on is going to be tricky and the one against uh, Zhao Sing Tong in the first round was equally tricky but that's a good break from Hyatan. Now this ready is on and we're going to take it on but uh, I did. We need a little bit of spin, hopefully, just to get past the black and the and the colours. We're gonna we're gonna knock them slightly, I would say. Uh, but actually, no. Let's just play some backspin. Again, you know, it, we can get there uh, and get back up the table. We need to get the spin right here. Uh, actually, no. This won't spin back, will it? To the top of the table, unless we play with a lot of side. But again, no, not really. So, in light of that, we're just going to have to play normally. Again, it's just trying to build the break from the start. Something we've not been great at. So, in light of that, we're just going to have to play it soft. Uh, and again, just risk being behind the black, which I don't want to risk. But if there's a pot on like this, this you can't really play safe. No, and we've missed quite. the red. Close, oh, though, dear. That won't provide any well, possibly the worst start possible. Possibly the worst start possible. That doesn't make any sense. Right Possibly corner. the worst start to the frame, and oh, oh, very lucky there was One. Liu. But uh, really poor start from us there. We went aggressive, Six. we went greedy, and potentially for the third or fourth time in a row now, I think it's got to be the third video in a row, we might well succumb to a first frame loss. That's a beauty. But it was the positive One. shot to take. I think fiddling around with a spin probably wasn't the best because we had got it bang on first time. We usually don't miss those shots. But uh, already, after quite a small break, you could argue he's out of position. He could go for... Ooh, that one's quite tasty, actually. Didn't see that one there, of course. That one will drop. But uh, a choice between that one on the cushion or anything else would have been tricky. But he's managed to pop that red that we couldn't see. The blue will be pretty much a formality now. But these players can miss at any time. So that's a bit uh, nicer. Again, not nicely on this one. It could be a miss. But no, it's straight in the pocket. And has he snookered himself here? Well, he's lost position. Yep, he has. He snookered himself. Don't know what he went for there. Presumably at the yellow. If he didn't, then uh, he's uh, got the foul. But no, it was uh, the yellow he went for. He actually made sure he, uh, he nearly snookered us if that would have ran correctly for him. But let's try this once again. And it's there that time. But once again, that shot is just laden with poor position. I don't know how you can possibly play that. And, well, now it's going to be the blue to get us out of this. And as you know from our previous videos, we are rubbish at escaping snookers. No, nowhere near. And that was just a waste. Again, before, it would have been actually, well, we could have got the snooker. Um, again, we played we played that shot before, and I don't know why I can't get anything decent off those shots. Any advice in the comments about those would be fantastic, but 
I just can't seem to get any decent position off those shots. It's going to be a tricky cut here. Perhaps the advice might be not to go for it, seeing as it is so tricky. So I think hit this red, come back, and uh, hopefully put the bottom cushion once again. That pulls up, it's not a bad shot. That'll do, brill. Can't get to the red, and uh, the reds stay as they are. Nicely done. Of course, Leo's still ahead. We've only had the one red so far, in which after that we snookered ourselves. Where's the red? Uh, where's the red? Where's the cue ball going here? Where's the cue ball? Oh, he's got away with that. Have we got any position for a pot or has he got away with it completely? I think he has got away with it completely. Well, that's disappointing. So what we're going to do, just play this up behind the red. It's a tricky one, but because it is so close, Safety there's uh, here, no real fear of this going wrong unless we hit it so soft. Have we hit the red? We haven't. Wow. You just play with so much precision sometimes that you forget to uh, hit it a little bit harder. But is he snookered us here? He has. Well, it's been a calamity of errors so far, this frame. It really has. And uh, a rubbish start, to be honest. Are we going to be any better on that cushion? We will, so... Again, just playing with chance here. Luckily, we can get out of it. But uh, we were always going to leave it. Oh, are we, though? Yeah, I think we do. We were really always going to leave a pot on. And, uh, oh, well, it's a long one. Really don't understand what happened Margin of error associated here, potentially. And, well, he's missed. That's way no, too hard. And is this a chance for us here? A miss, nonetheless. Unfortunately, nothing easy on. Actually, that one's... These are decent, luckily, so good that we found those shots. Hmm, no real great positional shot here. Just wants to sink this into the so we're going to hit this quite hard. Oh, what? Not How was that missed? How have we missed that? Some very strange pots we've missed so far. So, this pot into the right corner. And this is quite unbelievable. And now he's missed. Well, a calamity of errors from both players. It's going to have to be this one up the bottom cushion because it doesn't seem like there's uh, there's anything that I fancy particularly down the table. Can we get our second pot? We can. Where's the cue ball? We're okay. We played enough backspin just to slow it down. No, we're not on anything here, are we? That's the, that's the problem with that. The brown should go here, but it's a tricky one. And based off our pot so far, this won't go. No. Possibly just too hard there. And our game, I don't, I really don't know what's happened. I think it's, it's genuinely since that Sean Murphy match. I can't use it as an excuse, but I think losing there and pff, confidence, not going for shots I would have done before, just I really don't know. And form is definitely something in this game that you've got to pay attention to. But he's going to miss that red by quite a way. And we've got to be focused here. Does this let us in? The red's just not placed well, really not, and making position is so tricky. Now we could cut the ra uh, the rack, the black in here, One. but then the question is, what position have we got then? It's a really frustrating one. He's playing this into the but if we put cut the black in, it gives us every opportunity of perhaps being in position, Excellent and the black's shot. there. Surely we can't snooker ourselves behind the green. Eight. No, we're okay. Nice and soft. He's aiming for the left corner here. We're still in this frame. What's that like on the black? It's not perfect, but it's certainly not bad either. And this should be good. And the black's there. What a pot. And if this pulls up, it's pretty nicely on the red. Well, either red. One into the middle pocket. But look, look, of course, that black's there. So we give ourselves another red as a bit of a sacrifice and a solution if that red didn't quite get a plan and it was just blocked off with a black spot. We can take the green, though, now, or the blue, whichever one. We can play a bit, a little bit of backs, but actually we'll just play with some top but play it nice and soft. So if it just comes off the cushion, uh, the position looks decent. 
Well, it certainly did just come off the cushion. If that pulls up, it's pretty nicely on either red. 20. And this looks decent. Going to need some backspin here because nothing down the bottom of the table is particularly in condition here. In terms of those two colours. And that red's there. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? It's too quick. It's going to go into the pocket. Oh! There was always a risk of a foul there. <sighs> Neil Robertson, Silly. Really silly. So this pot into the right corner. Well, every frame you can't make a century, but sometimes you've got to make a half decent break. You know, we made a break of eighty two, we made a few sixty odd breaks, well, but that was a few episodes ago and we haven't made anything since. And that blue is perfect. However, he's only twenty three ahead, but this red is gonna be tricky. But if he pots it, it could be frame clinching. So close. Well, he's missed it. He some luck there, and he didn't well, would you believe it, eh? Very soft. To get the white tight on the That's cushion. a good pot. Oh, no, surely we can... Well, we can get to the black, but that is possibly the worst position. It leaves only the black on and a pot that I hate playing. Not easy with the rest. And it's not there. I'm not surprised. I hate playing those. Possibly the worst pot I could have played, but for once we played something too soft, didn't get any position. But because he's there, oh, I thought that red was going to go in then, but amazingly, this turns into a safety battle now. Unless that red goes. Hmm, I don't think it does, so I don't think there's much worry about that. We haven't hit the pink on the way back up, so that's a good success. And it's right up the bulk area. There's definitely a way through for this red that we've just knocked out of the way of the pink. But we've made it tricky. Oh, I think we actually snookered him in the end. I didn't realise that. Where are these reds going to end up? Not really in potting territory. Certainly not this red. I mean, we could... Well, we could put it up the... Needle pocket, Not an easy and one, probably maybe chance. get something like a snooker on the black, or just a touch on the black. But that angle's nowhere near, and this could just be too hard. I mean, I say nowhere near, but it's not too bad. Will that red, that's closest now, go into well, the middle? It, it won't, but this one could go into the top. This looks good, good line, and it's there. Fantastic pot. The be very happy with the position here. And the blue... Well, that's brilliant. And he's on the red, and this will be the frame to High Ocean, or High Otan. And we really need to step up our game. We're in a bad run at the moment of losing first frames. We can do it afterwards, but for the first 15 minutes of a video, it doesn't happen. And uh, unless we get a snooker now, that's the frame. We might as well just play on, see if we can get one again. It's pretty narrow. Uh, ignore that 18 behind again. It's another glitch in the game. But uh, I think we might have even snookered ourselves here. We haven't. We're okay. But uh, we might as well play on, see what happens. And if we can make something happen, then we'll definitely be more than happy to take the frame off him. But we'll pot a few balls first. Really, this could be potting experience more than anything. But our skills at snookering players are lacking, so in light of that, there's no real point trying to try anything fancy. Can certainly pot the balls, that's fine. Let's have a look at what we can do on the blue. Maybe the ironic thing is, if we tried that, we'd probably end up potting the blue, wouldn't we? Trying to get it between the possibly between the pink and black. But I'm not really sure how. Let's hit this as thin as possible and just see what happens. He doesn't want to play this with too much pace. That was way too hard. But where's the blue ball gonna end up? It's not gonna be a snooker. No, nowhere near. But it does give a margin for error. Who knows, he does something disastrous and he loses, but he should pot this blue, really. It's there, and that's the frame. There's no point us going for the pot again. We couldn't have won the frame otherwise. 
but uh, Hayatan wins the first frame. But at the end of the day, you know, we've got to question ourselves. The only reason we had to go for that snooker is because we were too far back. And of course, you can't beat yourself up because there is the odd frame you can lose. But you have to question that there were too many mistakes we made in that frame to give ourselves a chance. And in the last analysis, it's going to be tricky with our current form anyway to get to the last stages of tournaments. Going to be a safety here from uh, Hyatan. Very poor one at that, unless he's fluked to red. And he hasn't. This could be our big opportunity. But amazingly, this is just quite unbelievable. He's left nothing on. He's possibly left a plant, but again, I'm not too confident playing those shots. That, ladies and gents, is quite amazing. You can play a safety through this red, but... We could possibly play it up beyond. I mean, I know it leaves this one onto the cut onto the uh, the middle pocket, but just a tap of this red. See what he can do from here. Is he trying to play a double on that? No, he's just trying to get the cue ball safe. And he's tried. Has he done it, or has he left something on? It's criminal, isn't it, if those balls have all been played out and there's uh, no pot on. Really crazy. You wouldn't dream it, would you? Tricky safety. Maybe a little bit too hard on that safety. But all the balls in such an area that unless there's one that's a little bit free of the rest, they're not going to go. Let's see if there is one here. Looking to play safe. And he moves the balls about. Believe me, there will be one occasion. Oh, that kiss on the green could be crucial. Uh, like this one. Will this one go? It will. And this could be the opener for the frame. Just check it does go. Yeah, it absolutely does. Unless we go for the one. No, we can't go for the one next to it. So I think it does go here. I'm starting to doubt myself here. The only way we'll know, I suppose, or being really boring here is if we actually play the shot. Do you want to make sure it does go? Because we are for one frame back. It would be catastrophic to miss this. But it's there. But once again, you limit position by playing that sort of shot. Don't ask me to nominate a colour. Oh, for God's sake. We can't get to the black. I think we've snookered ourselves. Black. Let's see if we can get to it by using swerve. I don't think we can. No. So we can just come up and down the cushion. No real problem with that. To hit the black. Oh, unbelievable. That was the worst shot ever. What was that? Careless. And a foul. Yeah, careless, I think I just heard. That's about right. Jesus Christ. And if he doesn't clean up here, I'll be, I'll be surprised because, jeery me, this is rubbish. But he's just whacked the yellow. Goodness knows what he's done there. And we're getting away with this. You can tell, you can probably tell the frustration in my voice. But whether it's luck, whether it's something else, we just can't get anything. And oh my goodness me, what was that shot? One. <sighs> Honestly, I'll just, pl just play this shot and see what happens. Good fluke, a double here. No, we're not going to him. He's got position on this red, and it's just frustrating. Oh, well, the the the, uh, the queue just gone straight through the red ball. That provides a little bit of a joke, but I think we are a joke at the moment. You know, I've said for a number of episodes now we need to improve, but we're only going backwards, it seems. You just go free a run, I think, that you just can't get any position, and I'm out of ideas a little bit almost at the moment. You know, the frames seem to be kind of similar. They're going one of, you know, a few ways in terms of the reds. But, uh, you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen. And I mean, what are you supposed to play here to get out of the, the bottom of the table? Granted, we can get the pot, but we need something pretty hard. I mean, that's probably the best shot we've played at the frame. Because at least it leaves us on a colour and gives us a few options. But even then, I don't want to go for the blue, because our look at the moment 
uh, suggest that we won't pot it. The, right the green's there. The What's shot. position like? I mean, naturally, when it travels down the table, we get a little bit of a better position. Four. But uh, back up the table we are in terms of the uh, the top cushion. But this will go into the corner pocket. No problem with that. We need to take this opportunity. We cannot afford to go 2-0 behind. There's just no way that can happen. Five. So it's a tricky pink, but again, I think it... Oh, well. Yeah, it's the easiest pot we can go for, really, here. So even though it's tight, this is going to have to go. And it's there. This pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I mean, there's a few... Uh, opportunities luckily here but this could be our way in hopefully mm. get a hit on this red so we can get decently on the black great opportunity to get back into the match that's not bad could have been better but it's not bad but we might take on the pink it's a tricky one. I'm not quite confident on those blacks yet. So, in light of that, I'm more happy to play the pink. This is no gimmick. And it's there. Pot. Good stuff. 18. Right, it's just take... To oh, my goodness me. Does this red go... Let me have a look, God. Uh, ooh... No. Ah, jeepers. Silly, really, there. Should have just thought about the pink and didn't. I mean, from that angle, it looks pretty good, but it won't get past uh, one of the reds, so that's a problem. I know you probably should all be screaming at me, safety, just play a safety shot. But it's about to go wrong. And to be honest, from here, what sort of safety can we play? Hmm. Light up to this one. No, because it just leaves that red on. Well, let's have a look. He'll be playing safe from here. We're not even going to hit the red, are we, here? Oh, we do, just about. Brilliantly played. Oh, apparently that was brilliantly played. Well, we'll see if that comes to fruition. I mean, he's just whacked that. I was thinking he's going for the pot, and he looked pretty decently in position, but goodness knows what he's done there. He's just whacked those balls. And that might be his version of a safety, but it's very frustrating because he's not safe. There is a ball on here. But uh, it's got to be played with kid gloves if we're uh, going to get anything out of it. That's a pot. Good stuff. Back off off the cushion for the black. No. Well, there's a word I can think of here. It starts with C, ends with a P. I mean, I hate these shots, but we're just going to have to try and chance one, aren't we? Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner. Well, pocket. he's looking at potting this. I really don't like the commentators. This looks good. What a top pot that was. Sometimes, if you take a chance, you do decently. And that's not bad in terms of position either. Makes it a little bit tricky to queue off, but let's be honest, on the game, it's not that much of a problem. He's aiming for the left corner. But we're ahead. This red... Oh, no way. No way. Neil Robertson, eight. Just getting too cocky with position. Focus on the pot, Toby. But I don't know what he's played there either. Strange. And this red up the queue, uh, up the queue, up the ball, Ken will go. If we'd have got the pot though, there he'd have had to said that we'd have been in good position. But oh, that kiss on the brown's not One. been too bad, at least there. I'm inclined to go for the black here. We can get the kiss into the middle. Come on, come on. It's there. Now, we're not badly on these uh, reds. Down the top of the table. 
course, though, the black won't be an opportunity because of the, how the red's placed unless we play one with a lot of side. And let's be honest, we're not going to be able to get one that we play with side well into the pocket. So we've got to focus on the pot because, as we've seen before, sometimes position just comes. I don't want to play of any side. We just want to get this potted. We've had to move it several times, but that's cracking. Now if this pulls up, we're half decent on the pink. And we'll type that. Nine. Certainly are. Again, good stuff. But there are three reds on this cushion. Makes things quite unbelievable, doesn't it? We should have a look if we can make any contact with those. I mean, we have to hit the yellow, really. Unfortunately. But let's see how this goes. We're going to hit the yellow. We need to get the pot, really. The pot's there. <laughs> Hasn't made any odds at all, really. Unless there's a potential angle of this red into the middle. It's blooming tight. But at the moment, we'll take anything on, just to get a chance. Well, he's taking the red on. No, it look, looks off already. Close, but not quite. But luckily, because those other three reds are safe, we weren't going to lose much in taking that opportunity there. And this has been very precarious snooker. It's not been... Uh, a nice brand of snooker so far, certainly not. But does this red go? Great shot. That's a really good save. Don't really think it does, does it? No. So safety's the way to go here. So we'll hit this as thin as possible. But it will bounce a bit, so that's that's a little bit of a risk if it comes out for a natural potting angle. Ooh, too hard, too hard, too hard. It's gonna come straight back down. But I think mm, that, red, that red might get past. I think it might, actually, yeah. This is he's going to go for this. But again, I just, well, he, again, he's playing a safety. You know, it's not a bad safety. Of course it's not. But uh, they look like bizarre shots at the time. Now, this is going to be a bit of a tricky one because this one is pretty much on the cushion. Don't hit the red on the way back. Oh, thank God for that. We'll leave that one open. But again, it's a tricky pot. Our safety play not too bad this frame, but we're nearly half an hour gone of game time. Well, we goes. still haven't won a frame, and that's uneasy to say the least. And oh, that's a terrible shot there. He might end up safe, but uh, you could argue he's potentially got very lucky here. He leaves on some pots, sure, but they're tricky ones at that. And this could be frame clinching. The difference between whether we pot this or we don't. And it's going to be there. Cracking. He couldn't have played that any better. One. Now, what's what we're looking at now? Brown into the middle. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Hmm. It's the only real opportunity here, isn't it? To be honest, because the black covers the the brown's way into the um, bottom pocket, so Very tricky the corner pocket. Up. Ooh! Oh wow! Excellent. That's gone. And if this pulls up, well, not quite yet. I could do if it going a little bit further. Can we negotiate this red into the middle pocket? Gonna have to be fine in terms of how much we cut this so that it doesn't hit the um, the blue. Should be okay though. And it's there. It's advantage Robo, but it requires a long pot of some kind. The brown, possibly. But we get the brown and a red, and the frame is ours. Oh, no, there's two two reds left. Sorry. Fabulous pot. One left. If this stays on the top cushion, or as close to as possible, we are bang on for this red. Ten. And that's a good shot. I'll type that every day of the week. Just got to pot this red. That puts us 30 ahead. Again, there's another red available. But if we can pot... Um, let's think about this. We can pot either the blue, pink, or black. Which, as you can see, funnily enough, aren't the easiest of pots. So we're going to chicken out and go for the green. But it's not exactly chickening out, is it, really? Now, if you can stay on the table and play an expert safety, it uh, prevents Leo from coming back. But that's another three points on the table. So we are 
33 ahead with 35 ball, uh, 35 points remaining on the table. Now, the success of this safety completely relies on luck and how these two balls collide. We're okay. Again, he requires this red. Of course, if we get the red, then it's only the seven bulk colours that are available. But uh, has he snookered us here? Very of course well he has. There. No, there's no way for us to get through. He's going to come up, have to come back off the cushion. And I think this should be about okay. He needs good control over the pace of the white with this shot. Oh, that was just off. To be fair, where's the cue ball? Oh, dear. That hasn't really In off. At all. And that's four points down. And a miss. We were, we were close to getting out of that, to be fair. But we were that close that, in fact, the ball went in off. And if this frame now goes to Liu Hoishan, Hoishan? Hoi Hoyatan, it will be very costly. The red's there. All depends on what colour he plays. He's playing the blue. So he's 23 back with 27 remaining. The yellow's in a tricky position. Is he going to try and snook us again? He might well have done here. Just quite not. He's going to be gutted with that, isn't he? Well, let's try and play a bit of a safety here. See how we get on. That's not too bad. Take that every day of the week. Again, the yellows can the yellow can be got to. But it's a tricky part, a tricky angle. He's taking this yellow on. He is taking it on. How does it look? It looks pretty good to me. Oh, you lucky git! It hit both jaws. But as he snookered himself, not quite. He needs all the colours. If we pop one of them, or he makes a mistake, it's our frame. But he keeps trying with these snookers, and I think he's got one here. Mm, looks like he has, hasn't he? Now it depends on this how this cue ball comes off the cushion. If it goes to the left, we could get out of this. Let's just hit it with pace and see what happens, eh? But that black bean there makes things really tricky. Unless we try and just come off the cushion, but the angle that we're at, I don't really fancy that. But, mm, I, see, I just think if we come off here, it's a slight chance we hit it, but not great. No, I, I, we can't play that shot. That's just ludicrous. But the issue is, I don't know how to get out of this. I mean, I'm going to guess of about there on the cushion, but we could be completely out. I think we are going to be completely out. No, we're nowhere near. And again, those shots are just, for someone who hasn't played snooker in real life and the aiming aid doesn't allow, I bet he's going to force us to continue from here. Oh, well, he's just going to force us to retake. Now, how far away were we there? I can't even remember. That's the problem. I'm rubbish with this memory, and this is just going to mean that we lose the frame. So, we'll play the ball that we, d we were planning to before. I can't see it coming back to help us. No, we, we just can't play that. Just try it in here, honestly. I've got no idea anymore. Oh, well, it wasn't too far off. But again, we've missed it. And I think he will play on from here. It gives him a potting angle. And I just hate being snookered like that because... That's not a good result. On the previous game... Oh, my God. Foul and a miss. Liu Haotian, four. Free ball. He needs to be careful of not overhitting this. Have we hit the green? We have hit the green, but do we hit the green first? <laughs> if we didn't, that's gutting. No. Oh, thank God for that. And we've actually managed to get the ball safe. That's a novelty. Took us three attempts, but we got out of it. And if he snooks us again, I'm going to be really cross. Luckily not on that occasion. It's not quite the case, though, that we only need one of the colours anymore after losing eight points there. But we're going to go for this risky pot. Yes, in a way, we've got nothing to lose here. Because I think he'd pot them all anyway, so... 
That's really close. Oh, well. Not quite close enough. Tuh. There's your position, Leo. This should be pretty simple. Well, it's pretty simple, but he's missed it. Amazing it? how simple something can be once you get it wrong. Fantastic opportunity. Just wants to play that soft in the end. Have we snookered ourselves? Thank goodness for that that we haven't. Again, we're just going to roll this up to the ball. Once again, as I've said before, the success of these just relies on how the uh, cue ball makes contact with the brown. But that should be fine. Well played. Good safety there. He needs all the he needs all the balls. Uh, does he actually? Yeah, I think he does. As he tried to snook us again. Blooming as. And you think he's got it again, you know. Well, he's got it. Great shot. Bloody hell. Well, we just can't. We can't swerve out of that one. Uh, and if it takes us three attempts to get out of this one, it's not looking great. Don't think this will be anywhere near. No. Again, it's just frustrating. <sighs> I mean, nearly 40 minutes gone just playing two frames here. The he was after. <laughs> well, fairly obvious, Christ. Crap result. This should be easy enough. Yeah, it should be easy enough. No wonder he's potted it. He's got the brown. The You'll get the blue. Nine. And if he gets the pink... He just needs the black. To get 2 0 ahead in this second round match. Is critical here. But he hasn't left the black on. It's a good 15, safety. 15. Now we are taking a massive risk here. But we're just going to try and get, like a normal safety shot, up and down the table. Possibly too hard. The angle is tricky. This pulls up here. It's a very tricky angle. Breathe. Thank God for that. You'll be conscious of not overhitting this. Pace is key. Ooh, well, he's had two kisses on the black. And amazingly, he's left it for us. I feel guilty because I don't deserve this frame. I really don't. This for the frame. We haven't played good snooker so far. But we are going to be gifted the second frame and that shuts the door in our second round match between ourselves and Liu Ayushan. But I think for today, uh, we're going to leave it there. Because I just don't... I mean, we've, we've had two frames over 40 minutes. It seems that the format of this match very much is, um, is one that it's just going to be bonkers. In terms of every frame is going to be quite long. So tomorrow... Uh, Tuesday it will be. At 6pm, we are going to the climax of this match. It will save from here. So if we go back to the main menu, it will save from this position. And this will be the position we play on in tomorrow's video. But uh, thank you very much for watching so far, folks. It's been an interesting game, hasn't it? We just one frame each. We didn't really deserve that, but sometimes luck is involved more than anything. If you are watching this in the past, uh, more than 24 hours in the past, you will notice on the end screen that you will come up uh, 20 seconds before the end of the video. That episode 14 will be on the end screen as well as a channel link and the link to the playlist so you can uh, access the future videos from there. If not, if you are watching this straight away then you just have to wait until it appears in your sub boxes. And if you're not subscribed, that's all more the reason to subscribe to make sure you're notified of every day release. Well, thank you very much for watching folks. I've been TIJ Gaming and I'll see you tomorrow for the climax of the second round of the Evergrande China Championship.